Oh my god, there is a new Perfect Dark trailer straight from the Xbox Game Showcase, which I have not watched yet. I've not seen this at all, aside from the thumbnail. And as a huge Perfect Dark fan from the N64, I want to check this out together and see what this game's all about. So let's dive on in and see and get my raw reaction here. All right, let's go. All right, Xbox logo, good start. Your target is in possession of a radioactive device. Stop Carrington's attack at all costs. Carrington name drop. Agent. Wait, stop Carrington's attack? Did I hear that right? So this I has to be Joanna. Instinct. I hope you can play that. See the world differently. I want to skydive with a rocket like pack. Any other mission. Okay, this is cool. Oh, there's Joanna Dark. New model. Welcome to Garden City. It's a oh. 23 degrees all day, every day. This looks beautiful. Stop Carrington's attack. How far oh. is last known location? Local forces are also tracking his whereabouts. You need to find him before they do. Detective mode. Of course. We got a voice uh, an anal an analyzer. Voice print. There it is. I like all the foliage. All the leaves blowing. Still impresses me to this day. <laughs> what readings are you getting? We're getting odd readings from your monitor. Can you confirm? Yeah, lots of scanning so far. I'm looking Not sure I'd love that. Right Stealth, though, this is good. Pushing things, yes. <laughs> Our intel places Carrington on the second floor. <laughs> okay, it's like uh, Mirror's Edge. Liking that. This is awesome, actually. Yeah, <laughs> give me more Mirror's Edge. <laughs> oh, parkour! Oh, this is awesome. Scan's clear. I'm going in blind. Carrington! Damn it! She said a bad word. <laughs> Analyze. What am I looking at here? Carrington appears to be targeting a research facility. If he attacks it, the casualties could be astronomical. Agent Stark, it's a pleasure to meet you. Matrix. Oh, that's not I good. I use someone with your skills. Oh, ho, that was pretty sick. Breaking through the railing. I hope it's just not pre-scripted moments like that. Alright, so bullet time. I had to lose everything. Nice smoke effect. Before I could see. Oh, okay. Some cool close quarters combat. What oh, look at that grass. Really hiding. Pretty good grass. Individually bl individual blades. I hope you're ready, Agent Dark. Are you all seeing this? Once you open this door, there's no going back. Right, so we're definitely going to an alien planet or something, right? All right, logo needs some work, I think. All right, uh, overall, so first off, it's awesome finally seeing this game. We're finally seeing it, you know, after it being teased, what, two, three years ago at this point? I think two years ago. Uh, so it's actually shaping up, unlike some of the rumors we'd heard. Uh, apparently it's, like, they have the gameplay seemingly figured out, and we actually got a good chunk of it. This is, this is a good trailer. I appreciate them actually showing us the game, actually, including with the HUD. Uh, which is great. They're really, and it seems like they're really leaning into the uh, whole data dine thing as well. Which, um, like, with them seemingly uh, powering the technology being used, I might have missed it. I don't quite understand the context for what's going on with Carrington right now. I was too busy probably talking over it, so you guys might have missed that too. Uh, so yeah, this is really interesting. So is she like acting as like a double agent on behalf of? Double Dine, uh, Double Dine, Data Dine, Double Fine. I've watched a Double Fine documentary. Uh, I'm probably completely misinterpreting that just because I'm. I need to rewatch it without straight without talking about it to uh, understand the story here, which I might do. I might edit to that point. Okay, I just rewatched it. I'm ready to give more impressions on this, and let's go ahead and put throw it on the background again. So yeah, something to look at besides my face and uh, the perfect dark logo, which as established needs some work. The original logo was awesome. This one's not quite at the par, uh, which is the most important part of the game, obviously. 
that obviously it isn't. Uh, anyways, overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite blowing me away, but visually, it's looking uh, outstanding. Uh, it's still first person, which is great. And I like that it is bringing back kind of the espion espionage elements, like the spy elements of the original game, which I think they may even be possibly be leaning more into here, which I think would be a great thing. We saw some stealth. We saw, uh, you know, uh, uh, parkour, including in a kind of stealth sneaking in context, which is exciting, especially if they can flow that, especially if they can loop that in a kind of more organic way. Uh, that's all looking really good. And again, visually outstanding. Story-wise, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I mean, I think I'm understanding what they're presenting here, I'm having trouble seeing how it fits into the Perfect Dark universe. It's making me think there's either A, a prequel, which I think they had already done in the Xbox, but maybe more of a prequel, or a complete reboot. Because we see, you know, of course we hear, we, we're we playing as seemingly Joanna Dark. She's using Datadyne technology, which, you know, they're a bad company in the original game. And then, of course, the enemy presented here is Daniel Carrington, who runs the Carrington Institute from the original game and was a good guy. Like, uh, you know, a, 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 a very um, un, un, uh, apologetically a good character, as I recall. So, in this case, everything's backwards, and we see Joanna commenting on this throughout the, throughout the trailer, like, everything she understands to, is to be a lie, or something that effect. So it seems like this game may be starting off with the pretext that Daniel Carrington is actually, is seemingly a bad guy, but may actually be a good guy, and Data Dine, who Joanna Dark seems to be possibly working for, are actually, of course, the bad guys, I would assume. But maybe, you know, I don't know if they're presenting this stuff out of sequence or whatever else maybe they're reversing it i'm not fully sure what's going on here but it's definitely a different take on perfect dark and that's really exciting um especially because it has been 20 years now over 20 years since that original n64 game so I'm totally fine whichever route they're going whether it be a reboot or uh or a sequel uh especially with them again you know redeveloping how join the dark looks again the original character model is always a little iffy uh, it, it never even matching the box art, and neither does this, this, this one, and here we can get a good look at her here. Character-wise, liking the character model this time, you know, they've been, they've changed it in every game so far, including with the box art in the original game, so I hope that they actually stick with some consistency, they're gonna make this more of a series, uh, this time, assuming it's not just a one-off again, which I hope it isn't, because I'm tired of this decade-long wait between games, decade-plus long wait between games, um, especially in this case, again, there's a data down logo for the technology she's using, so yeah, overall, um, I think the key thing that stands out to me is the kind of environmental interaction that we see, both in how she can parkour through it, how she can seemingly push uh, objects around, you know, dynamic uh, moving pieces in it. Now, it could just be for the trailer, it could be just for this level even. I don't fully know. Um, I'll be curious to see how much of it is dynamic versus, like, you know, pre-scripted sequences. Uh, but I am liking overall the, the general vibe of, like, you know, making it action combined with stealth, you know, spy-based mechanics. And I really hope that they that they nail that balance because it is a tough thing to nail. You know, I think the original game did a pretty good job, but it wasn't too stealthy. Uh, this game seemed to be leaning maybe more in that direction. Again, more environmental interaction here. And again, I really love how it just naturally we see Joanna move through the environment, how the environment reacts to her with everything reacting to a degree that we rarely see in shooters, to my memory at least. So yeah, this is all looking really promising. Again, nothing truly mind-blowing here. It's going to come down to how it all melds together. And assuming they nail that, this could be truly something special. But I think that's where a lot of games go wrong. The, I mean, for me personally. Where they are either too slow and too stealth-based, or they're too action-packed. Whereas I like having, like, I don't want it to be where, like, here's a stealth section. Here's the action section. I want it to be where it's a mixture of however you kind of want to play it. You know, where maybe if you want to go to the action mode, you can, but it's going to be <laughs> way more trouble than it might be worth. Especially if you can maintain, you know, so it may encourage you to maintain the stealth up through that uh, if possible. So, yeah, I think as a fan of the N64 game, less so the Xbox 360 version, I'm really excited to see where they go here with the uh, the story and the gameplay. Definitely more of the gameplay, but I think the story, if they can make that really interesting and have, like, a good mystery at its core, which they seem to be leaning into here to some degree with the whole, like, you know, character being evil angle, and like not everything being as it seems. Uh, I think this could be really compelling, and I really hope that they do because uh, if they have, if they can marry a good story with it, then that'll enhance everything. But if the story sucks, it might detract a little bit. But ultimately, the gameplay is what matters most, and it's looking like that is looking promising at the least so far. Anyways, that's my extended thoughts on it so far, everyone. What are you making of this all so far? Are you excited for this new new version of Perfect Dark? Let me know in the comments. I'm I want to hear it. 
Otherwise, that's gonna, that's gonna wrap it up for us here. So thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on this game eventually, hopefully, because I like it when I'm seeing. I want to see more, and uh, I can't wait to play it whenever it comes out, which I don't think we know, right? There's no release date or anything. We just have a logo, so we'll stay tuned. Everyone, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Is that yellow paint I, I see? Think we know. <laughs> Very subtle yellow paint.